Hello again, friends. Today is another super mega freezer cooking day, batch cooking day, whatever you want to call it. I am loving getting these days in though when I can to have a ton of meals ready for my family. freezer cooking during my pregnancy with baby Benjamin who is currently I'll give you a peek he's a he's here doing his job oh, oh his eyes open a little Ooh. so he's been in the swing he's probably gonna want to nurse pretty soon actually looking at the time there I I feel like he's gonna wake up and look at me with one big eye today we are getting a bunch of meals done I can do fabulous things now that I have had Benjamin like I can bend and uh, I can I can get my hustle on and work fast and all those things at, at Jamerl speed that I like to do. So what um I feel like oh, okay let me organize this here. I've got to organize how I'm going to do this video like how I organize this freezer cooking day. I'm going to show you guys my whiteboard and my plan. We use the word plan loosely. I'm going to show you my plan and then I'm going to show you where we are at this moment. I feel like we have officially started within the last 30 minutes or so. But I actually, see I'm already jumping into it, just how it goes, you, you'll, you'll follow me. I actually started gently last evening. One YouTube viewer suggested that I start doing like my beef and my chicken overnight in my slow cooker so that it's less I have to do on my actual day. And since I am trying to get all these meals done in one day, I took her advice and that's what I've done. So I've already done um, 10 pounds of ground beef and I've done, 10 pounds of chicken so far. So what I have in my slow cookers right now is I have four pounds of sausage and I have another five pounds of ground beef. In my other freezer cooking days, I've used my Instant Pot and I've used my oven, but I thought this go round I would do that since a lot of it happened while I slept last night. Um, so the meat that needs pre-cooked is, that needs only about one more hour. And then a lot of the other meat like pork chops and chicken breast and such, um, can just go in freezer bags with some other ingredients for slow cooker meals. And that meat is raw at this point. So, um, and I really am gonna quit lying to you and show you my board. So, here's my board for today. And this is how I keep my head on straight. Um, so, okay, this is the plan, the plan, the plan. We're gonna end up with about 40 dinners. I'm gonna end up with about 15 lunches and about 30 breakfasts. I use my numbers loosely because as you've seen in my other videos, sometimes I end up making more than I plan on some dishes and some dishes I just get tired or I scratch it. So this is my optimistic, Jamerl's had two full cups of coffee and I can bend and we're feeling good about life plan right now, okay? So my goal is we're gonna make six loaves, at least see six plus optimistic plus sign, six plus loaves of blueberry bread, six plus loaves of applesauce bread. I don't even have on here banana bread. And look, in my bowl here, I've got, I know it looks gross at this point, this is about four gallons of frozen bananas. So I'm already off my list here, off the cuff, and also I'm making a bunch of banana bread. Okay, gonna do at least four pans of baked oatmeal, six plus egg sausage and cheese bakes. We're gonna do 50 bagel breakfast sandwiches. I would like to do homemade freezer biscuits. Um, I left a question mark there as to how many will get done. I might only get a few dozen done just to show you guys how to do those. We shall see. So, uh, and then for if you're new here, you know, some people think, oh, all I'm going to give my kid is, I don't know, one slice of applesauce bread and that's it. And they'll say, that's not a healthy breakfast. Well, you can also add in fruit, add in yogurt. We would have a slice of applesauce bread and then they could pick another side item, have a glass of milk, voila, wholesome breakfast. Uh, we do these freezer sandwiches, more on those coming up. And, and if you want to know more, I have more videos on these. For my slow cooker meals, I'd like to get the to a total of 16 done. 
We're gonna do chicken teriyaki four times. We're gonna do garlic and lemon chicken four times. We're gonna do beef and broccoli twice. We're gonna do creamy ranch pork chops twice. And we're gonna do chicken parm four times. And that just means I'm gonna make the recipe super big to get it in several bags. These will be frozen and then the night before I can stick them in my fridge and dump them in the slow cooker in the morning or at lunchtime. A lot of times I'll get slow cooker meals whenever we're in our busy everyday rhythm, I'll get slow cooker meals going at lunchtime and then they're ready at dinner time. Because if they go for about four hours on high, that's how that works. Okay, so then oven meals. So I'm gonna do, I like to do four pans of fried rice, four pans of chicken stuffing bake, four pans of shepherd's pie, four pans of pizza casserole, four pans of baked ziti, and four pans of freezer lasagna. So that's 40 dinners. I put six to eight weeks worth of freezer meals. And I also want to break down the price for you guys as how much it costs to, to make all this food, uh, the freezer meal in particular, because my grocery hauls break down to just a couple dollars per family member a day since we're a family of 10. But for these food, for this, for all this food in particular, I know some of you have asked me and would like to know. So this is, it says remind me, this is my note. Um, the way that I got six to eight weeks worth of meals from the 40 freezer dinners, this would be if you were having one nine by 13 pan a night or one of the slow cooker meals. You know, if you have a seven day week, you might have a day, here, I'll look at you so you're not just looking at talking hand here. You're gonna have a freezer meal every night for six weeks. That's technically 42 meals you would need. However, of course, you're gonna have a leftover night or you might have a night you end up going out to dinner and such. And for us, these 40 dinners, they should stretch for about, I would say, up to five weeks with other carrying on happening on other nights. I know for the month of September that I am focusing on for this plan, we have, we have a birthday celebration, we have two out of town events, we have family visiting, I'm trying to think, see my mental, mental list. Um, we have dance starting back up. We just have lots of things going on like all families do. So um, we're gonna need these quick and easy dinners. Another thing, mentioned this in my recent grocery shopping haul for these freezer cooking days, is that I do focus on planning for a good four weeks and then after that, for for week five or even week six before I do another huge haul. I like to do like pantry challenges and clear out the freezer and clear out the refrigerator and then we go load up again. So this is again optimistic plan for today. We will see how it goes. I've made myself um, a note. What I, what I was thinking when I wrote this is I would focus on breakfast meals while the rest of the meat was finishing up and why I got my rice cooking in the Instant Pot. Zion already did veggie prep and he's been taking care of dishes for me. The next thing I'm gonna have him focusing on, he's having a break right now, I'm gonna have him work on the 50 bagel breakfast sandwiches. Naomi is working the, the sandwich station. She's already over there. She's doing meat and cheese sandwiches, which is here on our list. And so, but kind of what I am seeing happening, you know, things, again, already off of my list. Um, I'm seeing that I need to get my freezer meals that just have the raw meat that go quick in the bag. They're really quick and easy to put together. I need to get those put together, I believe, as my next trick. I'm going to get the chicken teriyaki, the garlic and lemon chicken, and the creamy ranch pork chops ready to go in the bags, labeled and in the freezer. And then from there, uh, let's see, you guys can help me think. Um, from there, I need to get some breads in the oven, and then I need to also get rice in the Instant Pot because we're gonna do fried rice. And what else here? And the baby's crying, so he wants to nurse. So yeah, I'm gonna do the next thing now. So I'm gonna help Miss Naomi. She's here trucking along making ham and cheese sandwiches. I'm going to put the letters, this is just for our grilled cheese shelf in our garage. Freezer. I'm just gonna put GC on here because this is just like how we do our grilled cheese sandwiches, only this month we're adding ham on it. Technically, these can be used as just a regular old meat and cheese sandwich. We would take them from the freezer and put them in the refrigerator the night before, and then the next day at lunch, everyone could just add mayonnaise or mustard or what you know whatever condiments they want on it and have a quick meat and cheese sandwich for lunch. What we did last month is we did 100 grilled cheese, which is just the bread and the cheese. This month I thought we'll, we will do a hundred, 
we will do 100 grilled cheese with ham. So there'll be grilled cheese and ham sandwiches is my plan. But of course, if someone wants to have them the, the traditional way, that's fine. I just figured grilled cheese with a slice, of, a slice of ham on it would be extra yummy. I also have a video up. I'll ha try to have it pop up here and I'll have it linked below where I do, where we can do grilled cheese in the oven. And that's another quick way to get 12 or so done at a time. So real quick before Benjamin hears me, what I'm gonna tackle right now is to get the garlic and lemon chicken together. This is a total of 10 pounds of chicken and we have olive oil, lemon, garlic powder, some minced garlic, parsley flakes, and pepper. And I'm going to show you, I'm gonna divide this up into four bags and this will be our garlic and lemon chicken. Super simple, freezer to slow cooker meal. We will probably have it with a salad or steamed broccoli on the night we eat this. And this will be four different nights of dinner. Now for our family, since it's gonna be about two and a half pounds of chicken per bag. Oh, yeah, baby, here's me, gotta hurry up. Two and a half pounds of chicken per bag. This will be for one night with no leftovers. Family is smaller than nine people eating. You might have some leftovers left over the next day for lunch. Okay, so I just got this first bag of garlic and lemon chicken done. I wrote lots of directions on there. I do not do this on every bag. All my other bags just say, garlic and lemon chicken but i did this for you if you wanted to do this and um you know if you have someone else doing it besides yourself they might need the directions so it says to frost night before in fridge dinner day dump in slow cooker for four hours for four hours on high or seven to eight hours on low serve with salad and steamed broccoli or whatever side dishes you want so here's what everything looks like all dumped in there what it ends up being and of course you can always go over to largefamilytable.com in the description link below, I will have a link that takes you to all these recipes. Um, but what's in here is a half a cup of olive oil, half a cup of lemon juice, two tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of parsley, a teaspoon of pepper, and then one thing I just forgot that I'm going to add in right now, that's what help, why help, making these videos helps me too, is I'm going to also add in two tablespoons of garlic powder, and then that's it. We're going to mix it up and seal it, and it'll go in the freezer. Of course, we're doing four of these. All right, just added the garlic powder in there. So we're honest and true, done, and ready to mix this up. And when you seal these, you want to squeeze out all the air you possibly can. I will work on sealing it again here in a minute. I, of course, am going to have to put my camera down, but I'm just going to get it all mixed up. Woo! And then I'll try to get a little bit more of the air out. So here we have one bag, and now that I've shown you some of the steps, I'm gonna show you what it looks like with four all done. So here you go, guys. Here is four bags of the garlic and lemon chicken. I'm gonna line these up in the freezer and move on to see if I can get the next meal made. And Zion is working on getting 50 fried eggs done for our bagel breakfast sandwiches. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna put together four bags of chicken teriyaki. We will have this over steamed brown rice from the Instant Pot probably on the day that we have it. And, uh, and that's pretty much what it is. So all I use in this recipe is we're gonna use two pounds of chicken, boneless, skinless chicken breast. We're gonna use one cup of brown sugar, one cup of soy sauce, one cup of diced onions and green peppers, and one tablespoon of ground ginger. And there are some soy sauce alternatives out there that you can use, but this is what I have, so this is what we're going with, and now I'm gonna show you it all put together in the bag. So real quick, guys, this is the four bags with just the chicken breast for the chicken teriyaki, and now we're gonna add the other ingredients. So here's what every bag looks like with all the ingredients dumped inside, and now I'm going to mix it up, seal it up, stack it, and show you what it looks like then. So this is what the four bags of lemon garlic chicken and four bags of chicken teriyaki look like stacked up all pretty. And now I'm gonna take a break with that baby because he has big sister holding time and he says, where's my mama? Mr. Benjamin, this is the first time you've been on the other side of freezer cooking. That's right. Oh, oh. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Oh, yes, I agree. I agree. Hello. I just got done nursing Benjamin for quite a while, so he's happy in his swing again. Came back in here. I'll show you my updated board here in a minute. I just don't want my whole video to be my stinking whiteboard, right? But um, I've got a plan together on Pulling, pulling through the rest of the things I want to accomplish. 
First thing I wanted to get done was um, some of these other preps that can be going on in the background. So I've got eight cups of brown rice going in my Instant Pot, and I've got about 16 pounds of potatoes in my pot here to make homemade mashed potatoes. So these things are just gonna do their work for us right now. Over here, Zion has been working on, on these bagel breakfast sandwiches. So just, I told him to save the last one so I could show you how easy they were to put together. So we have fried eggs and a slice of cheese and a slice of ham on a bagel and then he has individually wrapped them looks like he got about eight or so per bag and these are the bags that are done so far so these will go in the freezer then on the mornings that we need these we can microwave the bagels or we can unwrap them put them all on a sheet and put them in the oven at about 400 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes do have the recipe for these on the blog too so you can hop over and see these okay so to update you guys on the whiteboard we have the bagel breakfast sandwiches done chicken teriyaki is done garlic and lemon chicken are done the meat and cheese sandwiches are done. Naomi is using the last bit of the cheese to just do some regular old cheese sandwich and baggies as well, so we can use that block of cheese up. So I've got the IP rice going, we got the potatoes going. So right now I'm gonna, the pork, beef, and chicken slow cooker meals that I have left. The beef and broccoli, the ranch pork chops, and the chicken parm, I'm gonna get those bagged. Then I'm gonna get blueberry bread in the oven. I'm gonna do my egg bakes, baked oatmeal, then I'm gonna construct the pizza casseroles, the ziti, the lasagnas, more bread in the oven by that point, make some fried rice. I have to feed people dinner, but that's gonna be real quick, hopefully from the fried rice. I need to then uh, make the mashed potatoes. That's gonna go on the shepherd's pie. By that point, I'm sure this is to remind my brain, more bread in the oven, then construct the shepherd's pie, the pies, and then uh, make the chicken stuffing bakes, more bread in the oven, and at the end, I'll do freezer biscuits. And uh, if this all goes down as planned, ha ha, we will have accomplished everything I wanted to accomplish today. Here's an update on the beef and broccoli. I've been working on that. What I have, let me move my bags here for you. So in this bag here, we have two pounds of cubed steak. We have half a cup of soy sauce, half a cup of brown sugar. I've got a tablespoon of sesame seed oil. We also have a tablespoon of minced garlic. And that's all that goes in this bag. And then in our second bag, I've got, it's about 26 ounces of frozen broccoli. It's half of one of these big 52 ounce frozen broccoli bags. So they don't go together at the same time in the slow cooker. What I will do whenever my family goes to eat this meal, I'll put this in the refrigerator the night before, just the meat, and then the morning, then the day that we're gonna have it, I'm gonna put this in the slow cooker. It's gonna go in for about four hours on high, six to eight hours on low. But the last 30 minutes before we are ready to eat it, 30 minutes before it's officially done, I will take out about half a cup of, of the liquid that is made and I will whisk in two tablespoons of cornstarch and then pour it back in and that's gonna thicken the sauce up. And then I'm gonna dump in my bag of broccoli and it'll all be together for the, for the final 30 minutes and then we will have it over rice. So that's how, so I've got two of these. That's how the beef and broccoli works for us. So now I'm putting these creamy ranch pork chops together. All these are is I have two pounds of pork chops. It's gonna be one can of creamy mushroom soup, one packet of ranch dressing dumped into a bag. And then on the day we eat it, I'm gonna dump it in a slow cooker and that's gonna be that. Here are the two bags of the creamy ranch pork chops. We've got bag number one. Bag number two, ready to go into the freezer now. All right, we got a lot going on in the background right now, but here are four pans of the chicken fried rice that I made, and we also had a pan for dinner. Date of what is happening right now. Um, let's see, I'm trying to, I know things have gotten done. Okay, the fried rice got done, everybody ate dinner. Uh, cross that off, I did make four pans of fried rice, one went towards dinner though, so there you go, there's dinner tonight. Um, IP rice is done, potatoes are done, still need to put together the chicken parmesan uh, freezer bag meals, but that'll be quick. And so a quick little adjustment here is I have to get some bread in the oven. Um, I should have done that like, you know, early today, way up here on the list, but here we are. No bread in the oven yet. Gonna get that in the oven. And then I'm gonna jump to building the pizza casseroles, the baked zitis, and the lasagnas. And then I'll check back in after there 
after uh, those things are done and we'll readjust. See Mr. Benjamin David, he has a different view of freezer cooking. He is now on the other side of free freezer cooking. Look at him, I was looking at him here thinking, last time I was doing blueberry bread, you were not out and now you're out, buddy. So I've been wearing him, he's been sleeping. I got a big batch of my blueberry bread mix mixed up which real for real that recipe is up over on large family table i know i've said that before in different videos with good intentions oh i'm so going to get that up by the time the video comes out but no for real it's been published for a few weeks now so that recipe is up on the site if you've been looking for it um, i do it the same whether it's blueberries or applesauce or bananas because those are the three main breads that i make for my family at least during this time and uh, sometimes I do cinnamon breads. There are some other ones I do, like cinnamon sugar type breads. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna get these pans full. Update, so right now I have four nine by 13 pans done of pizza casserole. The recipe for this, again, is over on the, on the blog, but it's made with pizza sauce and pepperonis. And so it's, and, and Parmesan cheese and then mozzarella on top and mozzarella mixed with mixed within it. So it's different than baked ziti and lasagna, um, mainly because of the pizza sauce and the pepperoni. And uh, just a little different flair on a noodle dish that's quick for a busy family on a night when we actually want to eat. And there's a Mr. Benjamin check-in. Okay, this is funny. I was wondering why I had an extra pack of pepperoni. And the reason is, is because I'm, I need to top the pizza casseroles with pepperoni, of course. So here is what they look now that they're all pretty with their lines of pepperoni. Now they are pizza casserole ready. So Yahoo. Okay guys, so this mama is fading and I think uh, my best laid plans are I'm gonna have to just throw in the towel for today. The only thing with that is tomorrow is our last lake day for this summer. So tomorrow we're going to be gone all day at the lake. That will be a lot of fun. I'm not going to be able to finish up these last couple meals tomorrow though. So Thursday, the following day, Thursday, I've got a few things, small in comparison to what we've tackled today, um, that I have to get done. You know, I go back with my movie quote in Finding Nemo. You think you can do these things, Nemo, you just can't. So, uh, yet again, Jay Morrell has not been able to do all of this in one day. And uh, hopefully it'll just be one a, a day and a half and I can get this done the first half of Thursday, like Thursday morning. I can always hope, right? Today, um, day I didn't get started until later in the afternoon anyway, but little kids are in bed. Um, you know, it's just, it's a quiet house now. I've enjoyed working like the last two hours or so, maybe even three, with uh, them just in bed because it was a rainy day today. They were in the house more. And uh, anyway, I'm rambling now. So I'm going to show you what we did get done today. Okay, I got done, it's actually 10 loaves of blueberry bread. We got done the 50 bagel breakfast sandwiches. We got the 100 PB&Js, the 100 meat and cheese. Uh, we also, I don't know the count, but Naomi also got, I, I want to say at least two loaves of just regular cheese for grilled cheese sandwiches. We got four bags of chicken teriyaki, four bags of garlic lemon chicken, two bags of beef broccoli, two bags of creamy ranch pork chops. I got four pans of chicken fried rice done, four pans of pizza casserole, four pans of baked ziti, four pans of freezer lasagna, and uh, yeah, that's it so far for today. So Thursday, my plan is to finish up, do four pans of chicken stuffing bake, four pans of shepherd's pie, do, do four bags of chicken parmesan, six pans of baked oatmeal, six egg bakes, and at least six applesauce breads. So that is the reality of how this is going down. Guys, so Tuesday I was having my big freezer cooking day. And of course, I ran out of steam because we had a lake trip the following morning, so I just kind of gave up with the last couple meals. And I was hoping, to, it is now Thursday, so I was hoping to get them done this morning. Well, we've had a big another fun day out, so it is now evening now. It is, uh, it's 8.30, 8.35. 
and I am putting the last of the meals together. So what I'm doing now, and this is what I also have in the oven for a late dinner for us, is this is a stuffing and chicken bake, and Naomi's holding Benjamin for me so I can try to form a sentence so you might hear him in the background squeaking. So this is about four pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. We're going to pour some cream of chicken soup over top of it. You can also use cream of mushroom, and we're going to top the rest of it with stuffing. This is four boxes, four six ounce boxes. So it's 24 ounces of stuffing. And then we're going to cover it tightly with our foil and our saran wrap and label it. And this will be one of our freezer meals. I'm doing several pans of this. And uh, that, that's it. That's the stuff in a chicken bake. You turn around, you're sitting on the stool like a big boy, aren't you? Yeah. By mommy. What are we doing? Um. What have we been doing? Big summer. We've been chopping? No. Was mommy chopping? Yeah. Your face messy? No, I need napkin. You do need napkin. So we got all these vegetables chopped, and now we're working on some tuna salad. Yeah. You can have some tuna salad. Um. Hey, tell mommy you were you were saying these names so well. What's this? Um, it's a you. A tomato. I said tomato. You said tomato, and what's this? Um. A cube. A cucumber. A cucumber. That's right. You were calling it a cutie, weren't you? It's your little bites. Um, what's that? What's that? You tell me its name. Um, it's cucumber. Cucumber and tomato. So, a little late Saturday night reality is um, I've been working on shuffling through the oven different loaves of the fruit bread that I make and I freeze. And um, these loaves, you know, they, they looked so odd. They look so odd, and I just took a bite, and there's there's no sweetener in them, and I must have forgot another ingredient. Daniel was helping me. Um, we made, Daniel helped me with my first, like, five loaves. They turned out perfect, but then next time, I think I just got distracted, because uh, he's so cute. So another thing I made, oh, and then, okay, so another failure is I was going to make four pans. I've been talking about doing the shepherd's pie for the freezer. Well, I went to get that done, and I realized that the ground beef that I had already cooked, I must have used all of that in the baked lasagnas and baked zitis that I did for the freezer because it, it was gone. So I had all my potatoes done, too, to do homemade mashed potatoes uh, for the shepherd's pie. So, huh. Um, so what I did is I ended up taking the potatoes, and I did a homemade big pot of homemade potato soup. So I'll show you that. So I didn't want all those potatoes to go to waste. And it was been really chilly here. So good time to start getting the different soups going. But here's how it turned out. And that looks so yummy. I'm going to have some. And then on top of that, you may have seen in the background here, we have, to, I, I paused. Um, Daniel's been sitting here eating applesauce watching Popeye, right? Mommy will put it back on in a minute. we got to talk to camera for a minute. Say hi, friends. Hi friends. So you see I have just like homeschool and game explosion on the counter. I wanted to get done getting these cabinets done today. Everything is pulled out. Uh, the cabinets are cleaned out now. Now I just need, you know, we don't need three quarters of the stuff that's on this counter rolling into a fresh school year. So uh, one thing it did bring back to my mind though is I really need to get like back at at least on the top Why ten. What? Bubble bath water? Yep, yeah, mommy gets you cleaned up. He's asking for bubble bath water. I'll get you cleaned up. All done. Um, I need to get, you know, we've talked about mommy, mommy doing. Wanted. You want it? Okay, let me get you washcloth. We've talked about doing um, big bookshelves in our dining room. And uh, yeah, Travis finished school and we had a baby. And, and now we're doing outside projects. But sure, honey, hold on. I really, really, really need bookshelves so that I can get, um, you know, our years and years worth of materials organized. Here you go, honey. There you go. Wash your mouth. Good boy. Um, and we just, we have so many books. We have probably, I don't know, 20 to 30 boxes full of excellent books in our garage that we need permanent homes for. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can at least get this stuff um, sorted and put away and then fall asleep 
and uh, tomorrow's a new day. Today we are down to the baked oatmeal and the egg bakes. We finally give you the full rundown and the freezer tour to let you know how it all worked out, what my plans are and what reality is. So, so here we go. Right now I'm working on some apple harvest baked oatmeal and I mixed my dry ingredients and my wet ingredients separate and then I combined them all in my pot because uh, a large stock pot is bigger than any of my current mixing bowls. So we have apples in here, we have allspice, we have raisins, we have vanilla. The full recipe of course will be over on largefamilytable.com but I'm going to show you how I'm putting this together in our 9 by 13 baking dishes. So here are the four 9 by 13 baking pans full of apple harvest baked oatmeal. What I'm going to do now is put it in the oven for about 25 to 30 minutes and then we'll go from there. Now the baked oatmeal are doing it smells really good. They got about about 11 minutes left. Daniel just uh, gave me back a broccoli. I wanted to show you guys my lunch. So I'm having a super salad with all the good stuff can in I it. It's, this one? You can have that broccoli, sure. It is lettuce and tomato and broccoli and cauliflower and oh awesome. Thank you. A little bit of baby spit. A little bit of cheese. Whole can of tuna. No, let's not spit any more, honey. Thank you. All done. Please get back. I appreciate you getting back. <laughs> Removing this, your spit from my salad. Yeehaw, folks. Yeehaw. So, let's see. Double, but double baby spit. And uh, little cottage cheese. Little salt and pepper. Speck of ranch. And again, double double load of baby spit and then I also have some watermelon and I am kind of going back and forth eating them at the same time and a uh, big old thing of water so recap everything that went down with my September freezer cooking so in the last video clip I was working through four pans of baked oatmeal and of course I still wanted to do recipes I wanted to get done to have in the freezer what happened not long after that is I had a teenager who was running with a dog, fell on a rock, we thought, we, we thought he broke his elbow, and I spent the evening in the ER, and that was that. And so by, after that evening, I thought, okay, this is good for now. I took one solid day and did nothing but freezer cooking, and then just here and there over the next couple days, I filled in some other meals that I thought I'd get done that first day, and I didn't. So I got it stocked up really well, and then there are still a few things that I would like to do over the next few weeks just to get into the freezer, and, uh, and we'll take it from there as we roll into October. So what I got done is I got done 36 dinners, not 40, got done 36, and I got done about 30 breakfast for us and about 15 lunches. Um, and of course, you know, what I do, what I consider breakfast and lunch is really, really simple. We got done 10 loaves of blueberry bread. I got done eight loaves of applesauce bread. I'm, I'm looking at my list here. We got 50 of those egg, ham, and cheese bagel sandwiches done. And I did four pans of baked oatmeal. And then we did over a hundred peanut butter and jellies and over a hundred ham and cheese sandwiches for the freezers too. We have since grilled those ham and cheese and uh, they're, they're, they were just, they're just fantastic. So um, that has worked out well. What I didn't get done, before I tell you all the dinners, what I did not get done, I never got those shepherd's, pie, shepherd's pies done. So I did not get done the egg bakes as of yet and I did not get biscuits for the freezer done. But I will do those and I'll probably do separate videos for those. So I did get done and now these, this list is for the uh, for slow cooker meals. I got done four bags of chicken teriyaki, four bags of garlic and lemon chicken, bags of beef and broccoli, two bags of slow cooker ranch pork, and then four bags of chicken parmesan. That was 16 meals for the slow cooker. Um, this past week, we've done the brief beef and broccoli, had the creamy ranch pork, um, we haven't done the chicken teriyaki. Oven meals, I got done four big pans of fried rice, four big pans of chicken stuffing bake, four pizza casseroles. We had that about two nights ago. Everybody loved the pizza casserole. I got four big pans of baked ziti and four more huge, and four more big lasagnas. And so that's 20 oven meals. And then, of course, I have other things I can make. We have other things to eat. But all of those meals are sure convenient. They're certainly worth dedicating one big day to and then having other little freezer cooking 
concessions as I'm able. So now I'm going to take you to that outside freezer and show you how things ended up looking. So here is an overview of how things look. Now it has been about a week since I added to this, since I officially consider myself done with my September uh, big freezer cooking. Uh, we used one of our bags of our bagel sandwiches already, but here's where they are. Up here we've got our bread. We have lots of different dinners and baked oatmeal here. Uh, the peanut butter and jellies, but now we had two days this week where we used the freezer peanut butter and jellies and those were super convenient. More meals down here. I've got all my different slow cooker freezer meals going on. And then in here we have all of our ham and cheese or grilled cheese sandwiches. So this is how the freezer looks at this point. Guys, I wanted to add in here really quick that I have a new mega freezer meals planning pack available and excuse my voice because we've had the crud here the last two days and my voice is definitely hoarse but i wanted to get this added on to this video so here's what the cover looks like and then the inside of the pack is really fun there are a bunch of free printable pages to help you plan your own freezer cooking days. We have a freezer inventory sheet, pages to help you plan your freezer cooking day, our weekly freezer meal plan printables, a monthly freezer meal plan sheet, freezer cooking labels for your meals, also a list of what to freeze or not to freeze. Here's a list of your family favorite freezer meal recipes. For this new mega freezer meals planning pack, all you need to do is text the word freezer to 44222 and I will shoot you back out this freezer meal planning pack into your email. Just follow the destruct follow the instructions. Yeah. Follow the instructions that follow that text and I will get this into your inbox for you. And I guess that's it friends. So we're going to try to feel better here and I'll see you next time with another new video. Also hop over to largefamilytable.com for all the recipes and other helps. Bye-bye.